Hey everybody, Steve here, and here's a look at the stories we're following from the AFR News Desk for July 15th, 2014. Our lead story this week is a follow-up on a story that we told you about last week, and that's the new cards that are being produced for the old Avalon Hill title belt boxing. The set is 180 of the greatest heavyweight boxers ever, and that set has simply been on fire selling very fast and generating a lot of interest on the Delphi forums. So much interest in fact that the designer Will Schubert has decided to produce a new deck of FAC cards, that's fast action cards, to play along with the game. Those FAC cards are currently available to pre-order. I'll post a link to the Delphi forum link for those. And he's also hinted that he will shortly begin working on a new division of cards to put out. No exact word on which set it will be or when exactly it will be released. But certainly it's very exciting time for owners of the title belt boxing game and as well as people that are selling their old title belt boxing. Uh, there's been a definite uptick in the secondary market for that game since the release of those cards. So congratulations to Will on a very successful release of these and generating interest in that old title. In other news, over at PT Games, Tim Plum has put out an announcement that he'll be releasing a new version of Football Bones specifically designed for solo play. This new version will feature a smaller game space, a faster game time that will use a streamlined version of the game engine from Football Bones. No date yet on when that will be released, but he has put up a sample of gameplay and a couple of sample files up on the Delphi forums. I'll post a link to those below. It's certainly very exciting to see that, and we'll look forward to hearing more news on that development. And now let's take a look at new releases. Sideline Strategies is currently having an all-star game sale on their Payoff Pitch Baseball game. The sale ends today and you can use the code ALLSTAR to get 25% off any PDF season or to purchase the game parts, which through this sale you can get that for just $4. Make sure you head on over to the Sideline Strategies website to take advantage of that great sale before it ends tonight. And then a release from Across the Pond over at sportsreplays.net. They put out the 2002 Commonwealth Games ratings for their replays world of international athletics and swimming. Also, they've put out the Grand Slam tennis ratings for mid-2013 that has the updated ratings through the latest Wimbledon. And finally, over at PT Games, they have another 48-hour event going on where they're giving away the samples of all three of their games, that's Football Bones, Hockey Bones, and Basketball Bones, for absolutely free. Head on over to the PT Games website. I'll post a link to that below. And you can download the PDF copy of all three of those games. It went out yesterday and it's going to end sometime tomorrow. So make sure you head on over before those links go down again. And now it's time for the question of the week. Last week was an overwhelming response to the question of the week contest. It was by far the most comments that I've ever received on a video and it shattered the mark for the amount of views that a video got in its first week. So thank you to everybody who watched the video and sent in comments. It was really fantastic. It's a really great community that we have growing here. So really thank you to everybody. The question was about using either dice or fact cards for a baseball game and the overwhelming majority of you said that you prefer to roll those dice when you're playing a baseball game which is my preference as well as well as the preference for our winner this week who was Leo Paul. Leo congratulations you've won a new copy of the Replay Games Replay Baseball Playbook just send an email to stephenatower at gmail.com. 
with the name and the address that you'd like that sent to, and we'll be sure to pass it along to the fine folks over at Replay Games. Thank you to everybody who submitted a comment. Thank you to Pete Ventura at Replay Games for providing the copy of that Replay book for the contest. And I'm very happy to announce that we have another contest giveaway this week. On the tales of the outpouring of support for that new set of cards for Title Belt Boxing, Will Schubert has agreed to give away a copy of that heavyweight boxer set. So, same rules as always. Make sure that you like this video, that you're a subscriber to the channel, and then leave a comment below answering the question of the week. This week I'd like to know what is your preference for a tabletop fighting game such as the boxing game that we're giving away the cards for. Do you prefer to have the option for a quick play round where you just roll the dice once to get the results? Or do you prefer to have a blow by blow or a punch by punch where every roll of the die could swing the round one way or another? As for myself, I actually like to have both ways to play out so you can quickly play out the undercard and then go through an in-depth look at the main event. But if I had to choose just one, I'd like to see um, a full round played out, punch by punch, so you can really get the idea of which boxers are stronger and which boxers are a little weaker maybe in areas and how they compare with each other. I look forward to reading your comments and I'll announce a winner next week on the show. Good luck to everybody and thank you again for all of the comments on these question of the week contests. And now it's time for channel updates. Just a quick update this week on the next video. It will be an Under the Hood with Replay Baseball. I'm actually going to begin shooting that right after this news video goes up. So look for that video in the next couple of days. All right, guys, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. My name's Steve, and I'll see you next time after further review.